We are going to use tilapia for our fish sandwiches today. You can use any mild white fish that you want. I'm just going to drizzle all this. I have eight fillets here, so obviously I'm going to make eight sandwiches with uh, some lemon juice, okay? I'm also going to lightly salt this. Not much, because we're going to put salt on the coatings. And, well, we don't want it to be salty. I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to work on our egg. I have two eggs in here. I'm just going to add about an eighth of a cup of milk to this. And this is... Um, 1% milk, so you use whatever milk you want. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of prepared mustard to this. So, you know, Dijon or Creole or whatever. Just mix that well. We'll set that aside. I have about three quarters cup of flour here. All I'm going to do is season it with a little bit of salt and with maybe half a teaspoon of white pepper. So we'll mix that. I will right, set that aside. In here I have half a cup of cornmeal and half a cup of breadcrumbs. We'll salt that. A teaspoon of white pepper. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of paprika. And a tablespoon of freshly chopped um, parsley. So we're just going to mix that. and set that aside. All right, now let's work on our spread. It's going to be a tartar sauce, basically. I have a cup of mayo there. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of lime juice. You can use lemon, it's fine. I'm going to add a tablespoon of very finely chopped red onion, a tablespoon of chopped capers, and a tablespoon of finely chopped pickles. I'm going to season this with salt. And since we have the white pepper out, let's just put a little white pepper in there. Perfect. We'll mix this. All right. Let's start assembling our sandwich. So this is what we're going to do with each one of these fillets. We're going to put it in the flour. You want to dredge that, make sure it coats well, and then we're going to shake off all the excess. Then it's going to go in the egg. We want to coat both sides. So we shake the excess off of that. And then we put it on the breadcrumbs, and we just make sure that it gets all nicely coated. Shake that and put it on a plate. I'm going to do that with all the fish and I'll come back and we'll cook it. So I have about three tablespoons of olive oil in this skillet and uh, it's nice and hot. I'm just now going to fry the fish. I'm only going to make one of these for you now um, so that we can finish the video. But Basically, we're just going to brown both sides and make sure the fish gets cooked properly so that we can make our sandwich. Okay, this has been on here for about five minutes, I'm going to say. Put a little bit of the oil underneath there. Uh, by the way, I'm working on medium heat. Now we're going to flip it over. Oh, yes. Does that look nice or what?
Okay. Alright, we'll let this cook for another few minutes and I'm going to put it on a paper towel lined plate just to take off a little bit of, you know, excess, excess fat that it might have. I'm going to use a hard crusted roll for this. You can use any roll you want. Um, we're going to put some of our sauce in here. Let's put some of our lettuce. I'll put lettuce at the bottom and a little bit on the top as well. Put some tomato slices here. And my fish. Oh, oh. guys. Really, really? Ah, this looks amazing. Check that out. Wow, huh? <laughs> I will have this recipe on the website for you guys to come and print. We have all kinds of sandwiches. Make sure you check them out. We also have all kinds of fish recipes. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. I'm going to see you guys soon. So, so let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. You know that fish? It, it has so much flavor from all our coatings and it's nice and flaky and oh this is good you guys need to try this it's good stuff <laughs>